Sí. A sophisticated 650-foot-long tunnel being burrowed under the walls of a high-security prison was discovered this week. And that may not even be the most interesting part of this story. The mob reporter here with news of a stunning feat of underworld infrastructure that is linked to one of the most interesting and successful modern-day global crime kingpins. Let me tell you about it. Come in the space, huh? The tunnel in Lima, Peru, stretched more than 200 meters long, about 10 meters underground, was high enough to stand upright in, and was well on its way to making it to the prison's dining hall, where inmates eat their meals. The tunnel was rough-hewn and supported with wooden beams. Its construction took about 10 months, officials estimate. It required a significant sized crew of construction workers and technical engineers. The tunnel's entrance was in a block of homes and well camouflaged. The earth they extracted as they dug was carted away by truck at night. Police say events forced the tunnel to be built in two stages. The original targets of these tenacious tunnelers were two foreign drug traffickers being held at the prison, a Serbian and a Mexican, authorities said. The narcos apparently commissioned the ambitious project, underwriting it with half a million dollars to cover construction fees. The tunnel was linked to a shadowy international criminal organization known as Group America. That link is this man, Zoran Koksic, a 60-year-old Serbian trafficking kingpin. Group America has been called the hardest working drug gang you've never heard of by the Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project, which has been documenting the group for years, tracking its activities through countries and across continents. The picture their research shows is a vast and nimble network of determined career criminals with connections to state security operatives, Balkan paramilitaries, and traditional organized crime groups around the world, including the Gambino Mafia family in New York City. I'll put a link to their reporting in the description below. Group America's specialty is playing right down the middle, neither as producer nor retailer, but as a well-oiled and trustworthy conduit between the two. They connect the cartels of South America to the buyers in Europe and beyond. With their roots in the Balkans and business around the world, including an alleged boss living in New York, the members of Group America have weathered a flurry of international police operations over the years. In Italy, the United States, Britain, Greece, South Africa, Argentina, Spain, Serbia, Netherlands, Brazil, Germany, Croatia, Australia and Austria among them. During one arrest of Coxic at an airport in Barcelona, Spain, he was found carrying passports for five different countries. Group America is master of the maritime routes. One method is using corrupted sailors on merchant vessels to smuggle modest amounts on and off ships that are constantly circling the globe. And moderation seems to be the watchword for the group. They avoid the mega loads that attract global attention and YouTube crime chroniclers. And more modest amounts bring lower sentences if they are busted. Now this is what ties the story of Group America to the prison tunnel. In 2016, police in Peru stumbled onto a trafficking plot and it turned out to feature Coxic and others arranging to purchase a large load of coke. By the time it was wrapped up, police were calling it a mega operation, using the code name of the Spanish word for swallows, after the little birds. But when they arrived to arrest Coxic, he'd already flown the coop. Three months later, he was finally captured while trying to cross the border into Ecuador. He was sentenced to 25 years in prison. Here he is seen appearing in court in Peru, as shown on Justicia TV. Buenos dias, doctora. Buenos dias. Su nombre no, completo. Estoy aquí. Zoran Haxik. Zoran Haxik. Nada más? Sí. 
No lo tomamos. Muy bien. I'll put a link to the full video in the description. Coxic was placed in Miguel Castro Castro prison in Lima. Had the tunnel been completed, its trajectory took it directly to the pavilion where he was living. In February 2019, news of a pending escape by Coxic was whispered to prison officials by a jailhouse snitch. He and a Mexican colleague were suddenly transferred out of the prison that was built adjacent to a bustling urban sprawl and moved to a maximum security facility further north. But while the prison knew he was on the verge of escape, they didn't seem to know much about how. And the tunnel was never fully found, the prison said. But last month, officials learned that the tunnel excavation had resumed and a search of the vicinity around the prison intensified. They finally discovered the head of the tunnel on December 7th, 2020. Which inmates it was trying to reach this time is unknown. Ground penetrating radar is being used to trace the tunnel and ensure it did not breach into the prison property. An investigation is underway. The government has promised a careful review, not only of this tunneling effort, but of all high security prisons where high value targets are kept. May I humbly suggest they start with the prison where Coxic is now staying. Thanks for watching.